A pleasant morning to all, and to you, Sir Buloy, or better known as Sir Jose. I am here to present to you our final output for our subject, Event-Driven Programming. So we were assigned to create a web page that focuses on the entertainment genre, like music, movies, sports, and arts. I am Alin Balansay, here to give you a rundown to our web page, its function, scripts, and different coding techniques that was dis discussed on our laboratory and lectures on this particular subject. So let's dive in, and I hope you will find it entertaining as well. All photos that are used within the web page are for educational purposes only. No copyright was intended. So let's start. So this is our home page or our index page of our of our final output. Here you can see the title of our web page, entertainment, search bar, and the navigations. So in this main index page, or better known as our main home page, is where you will find our navigation on the upper part. And we include movies, music, arts, and the About Us page, with respective individual pages, with which we will discover together as we go on in this video. As you can see in the moving pictures, an event will happen called jQuery slider, which the previous picture moves a little bit and another picture reappears. A script was created for better viewing and an organized flow of code. Classes with images with an auto with ID is used for division or the unordered list tag, or known as the letters UL within the corresponding section. With an ID named AutoWid and inside animation, inside the UL there are lists of tags which holds the images, and we will get the corresponding animation, better suited for this kind of web page with pagination and buttons for navigation. And as you can see, as I have clicked on the navigation button, this event will happen. So on the bottom half of our web page, the related articles are displayed with the same navigation button and animation that was used on the upper part of the web page. So there are sports related contents, movies, arts, and other matters related to the to the art theme. So if we click on the movies, HTML, this animation will appear. So in the movie section, a slideshow effect appears. So this is due to a CSS animation or a slideshow effect that was used within our coding technique. So the, this displays all the images with a slideshow effect. This same animation is applied within our sports index of oh, HTML, sorry, our music HTML in our arts as well. So in this about us page, you can see the creator of the web page or our group mates. And as you click the image, Another event will take place which pops up the image with a short description of what the image is about. This is due to a jQuery and click function which calls the image source on the variable images and out which holds a description and the popping event 
is due to the keyframe function set to zoom from scale 0 to 1. And this is applied to all images within the about us HTML index. So in continuation, in the uh, in this part of this video, I will show you the JavaScript or the functions of the script that has been used in this. For example, this code is for the for these animations. Okay, let's let's say for example. And this so you might asking uh, where are the uh, why the why these buttons are functioning so here are the reasons or the code or on how to make it fun functioning so we're going to go to index then we go to the bottom part of our code so as you can see here we have a script 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 tag and inside the script and we have the documents which is the, the whole part of this uh, this code then read ready function then auto with with class auto with id the id with an id or auto with id here this is an example excuse me so as you can see here it's we have here a slide slider, slide slider function. Also, with if it's true, then the loop is and then the loop is true. Then on slider load function to our class also with. So that's it. Then if you. Try it. So, for example, in this in this case here, we have a moving slideshow or a slideshow animation. So, why could it happen? Because because of CSS. CSS, Slideshow CSS, and we have assigned a WebKit, WebKit most MSO animation, slide 30 seconds, linear infinite, to make it repeat uh, more than 10 keyframes. To make to make the CSS animations working. So proceed to the next, which is in here. About if we if we point the cursor to the image, it will hover, and then if you click it, so there will be a pop-up animation that will happen, or an event will happen. So you might ask him why could what could it happen here we have